Hey girlfriend, welcome back to my channel where we are tackling adulting and trying to survive mommy and while remembering the woman behind the mom. If that's something that resonates with you, I hope that you stick around because today we have a pre-fall styling video where I am just giving you a few options, a few options to do a little razzle dazzle, to think about, to play with, and to have fun with until we get into those cold days. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, what are you doing? But if you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, you saw this week that I talked about and I made fun of the girls that are calling for fall. I mean, like, because when y'all call for fall, y'all go full throttle, and it's a bit much. You guys are calling for pumpkin latte spice, latte dati apple cinnamon. Can we please just hold on to the last days of summer? That's all I'm saying. But we have a good one today. We are going to get into some looks, some things that you can do for the drop-off line, to church, to brunch, to whatever is coming up in your pre-fall, fall timeline. I got the outfit for you. Okay, so we're easing in. It's still warm. It gets chilly at night. So these are those transitional pieces that you can find in your closet. You can mix and match. And you can still be what? Cute and comfortable. Okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first piece that we're going to go, we're going to go right into the look that I have on today. Because I'm actually thinking about wearing it to work tomorrow. Okay? I have on a navy blue structured um, blazer from Zara. It gives, you know, it cinches at the waist. It has the broad shoulders. No, a, a slight shoulder pad. But it's just giving you more of an hourglass shape because it's going to bring me in at the waist. It's broadening my shoulders so it just gives that kind of, you know, hour curve because a girl like me is slim thick, okay? I'm working on my thickness. I don't really have it like that, okay? But I work with what I got and that's what we do on this channel. We work with what we have. What I do have, however, is great legs. And I encourage you to always dress and accentuate your favorite your favorite let's say one more time your favorite part of your body not your best quality not your you told people told you you have beautiful eyes but you don't really like your eyes i love my legs now nobody has ever well i've heard a few people say they like my legs but nobody is breaking my knocking my door down telling me that they love my legs but i love my legs so it is something that i like to feature in these transitional periods especially in our warmer months because Obviously, it's warm enough to do so. So, I have on this structured blazer. Um, love the gold detail with navy blue for fall. Is pre-fall also. Is a very good color because it kind of starts to transition you out of summer and into fall. But not so harshly. I don't know. Navy blue, I feel like you can wear all throughout summer. And then it goes, it just goes, it's going to go so well with all the neutrals that come in fall. Because fall's a neutral girly. That's why the pumpkin spice and the apple cinnamon and all that is put, that's orange, it's brown, apples, green, red. Those neutral warm colors is what's coming for fall and then eventually into winter. I am not a professional stylist, but I am a resident stylist here, okay? I know what fits me well. I have learned my style. I have learned not to conform to trends and what everyone else is doing and to dress what makes me feel comfortable, okay? It is also a reason why I created a clothing line for moms millennial mommy and shop mommy and .com, little plug right there so that you could feel comfortable in your everyday no matter your style your shape your size your age okay so check us out anywho so um yes as you will see on the cutaway here i have on the blazer with the fringe skirt so it's business on the top party on the bottom you could pair this several ways you could go sneakers you could go sandals because we are still in sandal season it is still white toenail season okay i have not yet cut down from because usually i get my feet done once a month i have not yet gone to every other month so we are still in white toenail season okay you can wear this with a sandal you can wear it with a sneaker you can wear it with a heel you can wear it with a boot so depending on where you are if it has already started to cool off a bit you could also pair this with a boot i'm going to show that just to appease you but it is too high for me to be putting my foot in and out of a boot because it's going to get stuck from the sweat okay also too this um, outfit has versatility so we could wear it to the office we could wear it to church we, i might wear this to church i might wear this to church Ooh, this is too short for church y'all mid thigh no this is not mid thigh this is like not two credit cards i think i could wear this to my church because my church is kind of my church is kind of um, cash. I feel like I could wear this. This is cute. It's very versatile in places you could wear it and how you could wear it. 
so if you want to you could even throw on a baseball cap with this and really like just androgenize it out i don't know if androgenize is a word but i made it up and that's fine leaning in again to the blazer and the shorts at the bottom so i found this bubble skirt this is another color that seems to be on trend um for this upcoming fall and winter season is this burgundy this beautiful wine burgundy and so it's a bubble skirt uh, I am deciding whether I'm going to keep it or take it back because I'm a tall girl. It's a little short and I feel like I can feel too much wind on the booty cheek. On that right booty cheek, I feel like I feel too much gust. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or take it back. We're going to see. But in the meantime, while I'm deciding, I put it on with this beautiful, extra cinched black blazer. And um, no bra underneath, just the blazer and the skirt. They just, they friends and besties and it was a look and a vibe and i paired it with my jimmy choo also burgundy like uh shimmery uh, metallic sandal and i thought that was a look and a vibe as well again if you wanted to tomboy it down you could throw on a fitted um with your purse and it's a cute date night look it's a cute um drinks with the girls um brunch on a Saturday, maybe not a Sunday, because the Saints at brunch also might be looking at you like you little crazy. Because I told you again, it's it's right up under the butt cheek. It, it's short. It's short. Um, also, if you had, as we get into fall, if you had a thigh high boot or a knee high boot, that would be really cute with this as well. We'll see if it makes it that far. While we're talking about bubble skirts, the bubble top. So Future Collective from Target had another beautiful bubble top that I thought would go really nicely and flow nicely from um, summer to fall and again just any sh spaghetti strap top that you have blouse could be really beautiful with a baggy jean going into fall so that's what I did here you have the black um, bubble um, top with these cargo jeans that I got from Fashion Nova Again, you could do it with a sneaker, you could do it with a flat, you could do it with a sandal, or you could do it with a heel. So, so many options here, and this very much so is probably one of the most versatile outfits during this season uh, that we're in. It's like, some days it's really warm and then it can be kind of chilly at night, um, and you can throw on a blazer to cover your shoulders, what have you. So this is a very transitional piece as well that I think you will get a lot of wear out of. Next up is very simple a barrel jean you have seen barrel jeans everywhere this is one of the new mint items that i mentioned i did get a barrel jean from the future collective um drop at target um i just love the fit of it i haven't really been liking the barrel jeans on me the viral ones on amazon i haven't uh clicked check out on the anthropology ones just because of the price point i am waiting for a sale um but these fit me really nicely and for 40 dollars i couldn't let them stay there Okay, so I paired this with a just white bodysuit and a vest over the top. The vest is that dookie brown, dookie baby brown. Um, moms, if you know, you know. And um, you could pair this with sneakers, again, a sandal or a heel. So it's very versatile. You could wear this to work um, and dress it up, obviously. Um, if you have a jeans type of um, work environment, which I do. If you put on a pair of heels, open toe heels, that would automatically doll it up and jazz it up. Or you could also dress it down with a sneaker. So lots of versatility there as well. Let me know if this is helpful for you guys to think about like places that you can wear the outfits as well. Or do you want me to just tell you the outfits and give you ideas of what to put with them. But if it helps to do people, places, and things, let me know. Okay, so another look that we have is overalls overalls is one of my favorite things to bring to fall one of my favorite things to bring to fall because it just go together fall and overalls go together okay and so um another thing that's a staple throughout the year is a button down button down button up however you say it it depends on the day if i say button up or button down but today we're gonna say button down this stripe button down that I've had from the Kalana Barfield, it's going to pair nicely to offset this gray. Now, this gray overall set I bought from my girl, We Are Born to Roam, um, on Instagram. It's the Born to Roam brand. She sells 
beautifully made hats but at a time she was selling clothes and I got this set from her had to have it but I have seen it at other online boutiques so support another small boutique do a Google image search find the overalls and you'll be able to find it I also try to find some links below and help you out as well there with this button-up shirt and the overalls just super Costco run think soccer um, tournament think uh, Trader Joe's run grocery store run think kids birthday party if it's a little bit warmer you roll those sleeves up I am very big on wearing a button down throughout the summer that's easy and breezy I don't button all the way to the top just to allow more airflow more airflow okay so um I know some people are like oh a sleeve sure you just said it was hot a blazer you just said it was hot these are things that are easy breezy right and I have my legs out y'all can't see that but I have my legs out so the breeze is coming up through Okay, up and through. The next look is one of my favorites. It is, y'all are calling it jorts, and I hate that for us. As a community, I hate that that word was put together. I'm, these are long shorts, okay? I think jorts is supposed to be a jean short that's long, but the word is cringy for me. Because also too, this, this style pant has been around since the 70s maybe the 60s so the fact that we found the need to then give it a name a horrible name of that is beyond me but anyway I digress so you guys have seen this top before if you follow me over on Instagram it is this jean crop top shirt um, I am pairing with a pair of long Bermuda shorts I'm gonna call them Bermuda shorts that I got from Zara last season on sale during the summer sale that I just knew would pair so nicely and leopard is another preempt into fall but I'm pairing them with my leopard sandal to give it you know that pre-fall blend also this dark jean color is you're gonna see that over and over and over and I'm not here to talk to you about trends because again I said I'm a resident stylist at my house I don't know I really don't know nothing about what's going on I just know that I'm a shopper and what I see in the stores uh, there's a lot of dark denim which I have not seen in previous years and the dark denim looks good dark denim also I have talked about this in previous videos as well will automatically zhuzh your outfit up a dark denim is automatically gonna dress you up whereas a lighter denim is more casual you would have to dress the, 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 the lighter denim up yourself if that makes sense okay so we love this look next Next, next. Oh, fall and me and camouflage. I love camo in the fall. I love camo, period. I try to put it away for summer because I will turn to it so easily. Like I will grow, I will lean to go for it so quickly. And it's like, girl, you're gonna wear that all through fall. Like just chill, bruh. Just chill. So camo. Camo is so versatile. There are so many good camo pants out there. These are a pair of camo pants that I got from Zara a few seasons ago. But this top is new that I got from Zara as well. It's giving me 90s girl. It's giving me the, you know, the girl, the the, the hip hop girls that had on um, the bangs with the with the bumped curl at the cookout with the big earrings that said they named through it. With the with the heavy lined lip. Oh, this give me that. This give me that. This give me a, this give me like swv total oh i just have i just i just have all the reminiscent i wouldn't say that i was born in the wrong era i just feel like this is where my heart lives this 90s girl style because i told you i'm tomboy chic and that's what they was doing back then that's what they were doing everything was comfortable and cute and calm and collective and the bodies was natural and stuff but don't hold me to that because i ain't say i'm gonna be a natural body girl forever that's another story for another day anyway so love this look um, I have some favorite Amazon cargo camo pants that I love as well that I will link there's not featured here because it's a darker camo so I try to like leave that for actual fall but this light washed flared wide legged um, Zara denim <laughs> that was an alpha um, pant I love and I think you will love it too I will try and find some um, some inspo for that as well. But this navy blue, again, navy coming in, that dark denim color uh, with the denim. You 
could pair it with a hat. I have braids, so it's not really those with the hairstyle at the moment. I don't have any hats that can fit over my head. But um, I will try and throw on a little hat so you can see how it could. You could zhuzh it up and wear it differently. Again, could wear it to the office with a little funky heel wedge, um, ballet sand, uh, excuse me, ballet flat. There's a, a plethora of ways that you can get through this. So, if these looks resonated with you, if this content resonated with you, if this style guide helped you in any way, I'm so happy that I that you met me here and took your time to watch this video. I just pray that we continue to grow, to glow, and are seen doing so because we are not afraid to be seen trying. That is a new concept for me because I'm an Aquarius. So <laughs> if you like this stuff, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. We hope to see you next week. Every Sunday, 2 p.m. See you next time. Love you, Venus.